welcome back to my channel so today we are going to learn how to make this sunburst sling bag for making this I am using a 100% cotton yarn and a 3 mm hook so to make a sunburst granny square we have to first make a magic ring if you don't know how to make a magic ring I have a separate video for the same I'll be linking it in the description box below so this is how we have to make a magic ring first this is our magic ring and now we are going to chain two and now we are going to make 16 double crochets in that loop over there so we are not going to count that chain 2 as a as a double crochet and excluding that we are going to make 16 a total double crochets in that loop over there So I'm just going to make my 16 double crochets and I'll see you once I'm done. Now here we have made our 16 double crochets. And now we're going to pull that string to make that magic ring tight. We're going to pull it enough that so that there is no gap in between like this and now you can see there is no gap in between our double crochets and now we are going to slip stitch in the very first double crochet that we made so we're going to insert a hook in the very first double crochet that we made and we're going to yarn over pull through and pull through that loop as well this is how our first row should look like and now for row 2 we are going to chain 2 and in the same stitch we are going to yarn over insert a hook and we're going to yarn over and pull through pull through to the height of a double crochet we are again going to yarn over pull through again yarn over pull through again we're going to yarn over and pull through we're going to do this four times and we're going to yarn over and pull through all the four loops and we're going to yarn over and chain one we are again going to do this same thing in the next stitch yarn over pull through to a height of a double crochet again yarn over yarn over pull through again for the third time and for the fourth and the last time and now we're going to yarn over and pull through all the loops and now again we're going to do the same thing in the next loop yarn over yarn over pull through One more time and for the last time now we'll be left with nine loops and a hook we are going to yarn over and pull through all the nine loops now we're going to chain one simply and this is how we are going to continue making these 16 puff stitches 
here we are done making our 16 puff stitches and now we're going to close this circle we're going to make a slip stitch in the very first puff stitch that we had made we're going to insert a hook yarn over pull through and pull through a loop as well so this is going to give us our second round of puff stitches and now the third stitch will be the cluster stitch for that we're going to make a slip stitch and go into the first gap between the two puff stitches and now we're going to chain three we're going to yarn over insert a hook in the gap between the two puff stitches yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two loops again we're going to do the same thing yarn over yarn over pull through and pull through two loops again we're going to do this two more times so this is for the third time and now for the fourth time we're going to yarn over yarn over pull through and yarn over pull through two loops now we'll be left with five loops on a hook we're going to yarn over and pull through all the five loops and then we're going to chain one this is our first cluster stitch and now we're going to make another in the gap between the two puff stitches yarn over pull through again we're going to yarn over pull through two loops we're going to do this two more times pull through two loops and now for the last time now we are left with five loops on a hook we're going to yarn over and pull through all the five loops and chain one now we're going to make another cluster stitch in the gap between the next two puff stitches so like this we are going to make 16 cluster stitches again this is going to be a row 3 And I'm just going to continue making my cluster stitches and I'll see you once I'm done here we are done making our 16 cluster stitches now we're going to make a slip stitch in the very first cluster stitch that we made we are going to insert a hook yarn over pull through and pull through up a loop as well this is how our row 3 should look like and now we are going to start making the square for that we are going to insert a hook in the gap between the two cluster stitches yarn over pull through and pull through that loop as well so this is how we make a slip stitch and now we're going to continue making the square for that we are going to chain 3 and we're going to yarn over insert a hook in the gap yarn over pull through and we're going to make a double crochet we're going to make one more double crochet in that gap between the two cluster stitches and yet another so we're going to make three double crochets and now in the next gap we're going to make three treble crochets for that we're going to yarn over twice yarn over pull through pull through two loops pull through two loops and pull through the remaining two loops this is our first treble crochet we're going to make two more treble crochets in that same gap like that this is our second treble crochet now a third one and now we are going to chain one and we're going to make three more treble crochets in that same loop so that is going to be the corner of our square now if you don't know how to make these basic stitches I have separate detailed videos for all these stitches and I'll be linking them in the description box below now this is our second treble crochet in that same gap this is the edge of our square and 
the third one. And now in the gap between the next two cluster stitches we are again going to make three double crochets. One. This is two. And now the third one. Now in the next gap between the two puff stitches we are going to make three half double crochets. For that you're going to yarn over, yarn over, pull through all the three loops. So this is our first half double crochet. Now we're going to make a second half double crochet. And now we're going to make a third half double crochet. And now in the next gap, we are again going to make three double crochets. So this is one. This is the second double crochet. And now we're going to make the last one. Now after this, we are again going to make the edge of a square. For that, we're going to make three treble crochets in the next gap between the two cluster stitches. This is our first treble crochet. Now we're going to make another one. And now the third one. And now we're going to chain one and make three more treble crochets in that same gap. So as I have mentioned earlier, this is the second edge of a square. Now you get the drill. We are again going to, you know, continue making three uh, double crochets in the next gap, then three half double, again three double and then the edge. This is how we are going to complete making our square and I'll see you once I'm done. Now this is how our sunburst granny square should look like once completed. Now for the body of our bag we have to make a total of 30 such granny squares. We have to stitch 9 such granny squares together making a square like that. Now for attaching the granny squares we have to place our granny squares on top of each other with the right sides facing each other and we are going to join these with uh, the invisible join. I am going to teach you how to do that now. So for that we are first going to find the edge of our square and these are the two chains on the edge we are going to insert our needle in between these two chains like this and we are going to pull through. Now we are going to leave a small tail to sew in the end like that and now we are going to do the exact same thing on our square number two so we are going to insert our needle in between the two chains on the edge so these are the two chains we are going to insert our needle in between these two chains and we are going to pull through Now again we are going to move on to our square number one. We can see those uh, two chains, those two V stitches. We are going to 
insert our needle in between these two chains like this and we are going to pull through again on our square number two we are going to do the exact same thing insert our needle in between the two chains and pull through so when you're inserting the needle in between these two chains you might feel a little bit of friction but that's how it, it is supposed to be This is how our invisible stitch should look like. Uh, once we are done with the sewing part, this is how it should look like. For our second panel, we have to uh, attach 12 such granny squares together like this and here are our 12 granny squares attached together this is how it should look like now here we are going to attach this uh, to the panel of 12 granny squares with the panel of 9 granny squares with a strip I have stitched 9 granny squares in a line together like this and now we're going to attach this this way we're going to attach the uh, nine granny squares with the panel of our 12 granny squares like this and on top of that we're going to attach our nine granny square panel okay so I'm just going to continue doing this I'll just attach all the panels and I'll see you once I'm done So this is how our back should look like once we have attached all the panels. And now for lining our bag, we are first going to measure uh, the width of our bag like that. So this is 3 inches and that is a 9 inches in my case. Okay, so and the length of a bag is also nine inches and that is three inches as well so i'm gonna have uh, to make a square of three plus nine which is 12 inches and i'm going to make i'm going to keep a seam of one inch and i've also attached two pockets for my lining and i have i've made the hem as well and for lining now we are going to place both the right sides together facing each other and we're simply going to sew the three sides of our bag like that Now here we have sewn the three sides and this is how it should look like and now we are going to give it a structure for that we are going to we are going to find the edge of our bag first the lower edge and we are going to make a triangle a sort of a triangle right there now you have to yeah you have to 
find the triangle you have to make a triangle out of it and as our base is three inches we are going to sew uh, we are going to you know make a seam over there and we're going to fold it like this and we are going to make, do the exact same thing on the other side as well now this is how our back should look like once our lining is done I have attached the lining with the same thread that I have used to make this bag and now for our belt I am going to use a granny squares only so for the belt of our, of our bag we are going to use the granny square and I'm also going to attach a button over there so I'll just attach my belt and I'll show you how does it look you can customize it you can even add a zipper to it if you want but I am going to add a button and here I have attached the belt to my bag I have simply made a belt of sunburst granny squares and our bag is ready Thanks for watching my video. If you do like my video, please give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel for more such videos. Happy crocheting!